SPIE presents the Advancing the Laser series, honoring 50 years of laser achievements. My name is Federico Capasso. I'm professor of applied physics in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences at Harvard University. I've been there for the last uh, uh, eight years after a 30-year career at uh, Bell Laboratories. We have research uh, 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 raging, uh, ranging, I would say, from the very uh, applied uh, working on uh, application and commercialization of quantum, quantum cascade laser, next frontier of quantum cascade laser, and, 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 and another very interesting area which is now uh, sort of uh, again between applied and basic is uh, uh, plasmonics and uh, meta metamaterials, and finally really on the fundamental uh, 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 side is the uh, study of fundamental quantum electrodynamical forces. The quantum cascade laser was originated at Bell Labs and I would like to say it probably was about the only place where it could have been invented. I had the privilege to work with, uh, for many years with Al Lacho, who is uh, the pioneer of uh, MB and we did this work jointly. He basically grew the uh, material based on uh, a design that uh, my group and myself came, uh, came up uh, with. So there is a lot of knowledge of uh, solid state physics and quantum mechanics that uh, went into it. So I would say this richness, this uh, interdisciplinary nature of the work in some sense were, was always the hallmark of, uh, uh, Bell, of uh, uh, Bell Labs. The fact is that the more we work on the quantum cascade laser we realize it's a truly radi radically new laser that differs in a, a dramatic way from uh, past uh, lasers. You can design the gain spectrum so that you can have, the laser can have both an enormous tuning range or it can be designed to emit simultaneously at many different wavelengths. Lately the biggest surprise has been, and for me it has been sort of a conceptual shock, you know, uh, it, you know, the basic theory of the line width of the laser was worked out by Shallow and Towns in 1958, the first paper on laser. It says basically that the line width is controlled by certain formula, given the shallow towns formula. In dial laser, the shallow towns formula has to be designed, and we thought the quantum cascade laser actually uh, approaches very well the shallow towns formula. Recently, uh, two groups have found, both theoretically and experimentally, confirming that the QC laser actually has an intrinsic line width that is below the shallow towns uh, limit. Uh, I'm very much interested in the history of uh, technology and science and if you look back at all inventions, basically the ones that make it commercially typically, there's usually a minimum of around uh, 10 years. I mean there are exceptions of course. And I think uh, the QC laser has started in fact to take off commercially 10 years later, 2004. Now uh, there is almost around uh, 20 companies and uh, uh, the leading one uh, is uh, Hama, Hamamatsu Photonics, uh, you know, they have exhibits at Photonic uh, West and Clio and so forth. There is a number, uh, Alcatel has, uh, has created a, a division, it's called Free Five Laboratories, that uh, commercializes uh, uh, QC lasers. And there is a bunch of uh, uh, companies coming up, some startups, some beyond the startup uh, point, so the commercialization is full swing. I think uh, that the next uh, decade is going to be really a decade of uh, uh, chemical uh, sensing. Many are going to be in 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 enabled by the quantum cascade laser, uh, both for uh, uh, threats, you know, uh, military, for the military scenario, but also for pollution monitoring. Most important, I believe, also areas like combustion diagnostic, medical diagnostics. We have shown that uh, um, combining uh, uh, laser technology like quantum cascade laser, but not only QC laser, with plasmonics can deal with a very interesting thing. We have shown that we can shape the, the beam of laser. So we have made uh, uh, multi-beam, multi-wavelengths uh, quantum cascade laser. I think this is a unique uh, feature, okay, the ability to have a laser to 
simultaneously launch multiple wavelengths in different direction of space. I mean, this is, of course, research, but it's very exciting. 